Since the Industrial Revolution, humans have been adding carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases to the atmosphere at a much faster rate than Earth's natural cycle can remove them, causing atmospheric concentrations of greenhouse gases to rise. As a result, our global climate is changing. To reduce emissions and strengthen sinks that remove greenhouse gases from the atmosphere, countries need a clear picture of their national emissions, trends and sources. Until now, we've relied on indirect estimates of national emissions based on national data and statistics. For example, by counting how many cars are on the road or how many barrels of oil are consumed, we can estimate emissions from these sources. But adding up all these calculations only produces estimates. While global levels of greenhouse gases have been tracked for many years, advances in science and technology now make it possible to directly measure atmospheric concentrations at the national level. This is done using networks of high-resolution monitoring instruments. Before the gases have become globally mixed, their spatial patterns can be mapped in great detail. Because gases like carbon dioxide exist in different forms, or isotopes, each of which is emitted by a different kind of natural or man-made source, scientists can identify where they came from. Advanced models can simulate how winds and rain dispersed the gases after they were emitted. By running these models backwards, scientists can identify and quantify the natural and human emission sources, as well as the natural sinks. These results make it possible to confirm and improve the emissions estimates, providing complementary information on national greenhouse gas emissions. Thanks to these developments, governments can now have access to more accurate data to gauge their progress and to report their national emissions figures. National figures are then added together to provide a clearer global picture of humanity's emissions trends.